So what I'm trying to do here is employ this QMF4 for doing sort of uh, EQ sculpting of modular output in a modular sense. And what I'm going to show you in this particular example is I got this uh, silly sequence from Renee and a couple of oscillators uh, coming out of this VCA. It's running into the O-Tool and that dry signal is, is going to be shown in red. Uh, the wet signal will be the, the yellow line. Uh, the signal then passes into the QMF4, into the main input. And right now we're listening to this completely dry. So the QMF4 is just passing the signal through. Um, I'm going to make it wet all the way. And what you're going to hear right now is some low pass filtering of that wet signal. And let's, let's talk about how the QMF4 is currently configured. We got our four filters in the bank, and so they're each getting their own copy of the input signal. And um, I have filters one, two, and four completely turned off right now. Their, their output faders are all the way down. That's these three. Uh, number three is all the way up, and I have it set in low pass mode. So if I adjust the cutoff, you're going to hear the audio change accordingly. So I'm raising the cutoff, lowering the cutoff. It's a low pass filter. So I'm using the third filter here basically as a low pass to control my uh, low frequencies. And I can sort of uh, set that to taste. And then over here, I've got filter four set up in high pass mode and I'm gonna turn up its fader. So now we're getting, we're listening to the output of both these filters in the wet signal. And I can adjust my cutoff as you would expect from a high pass filter. What I'm doing with these other two filters is they're also, again, currently you're not hearing them because the, the faders are all the way down, but I have them set in bandpass mode. And um, I'm going to turn those up now. And again, you can, you can totally adjust each one of these outputs independently. Um, I've now got these two band passes going, and I can adjust their, their cutoffs independently. There's, there's nothing particularly different about these. Uh, I have them currently in the saturated mode, so they're, they're, uh, they're kind of getting a boost internally inside the QMF, and, and they sound a little bit more prominent. If I flip them down to the regular oscillator setting, then you can hear it, it the saturation is reduced. I'm going to put them back in saturation mode just for a stronger effect in the demo. Um, now I got these two cables here running into the QMF4. These are, these are going into the um, cutoff modulation for the two band passes, and, and they're both connected to uh, an IntelliGel planer. So, I'm now off, off camera, I'm fiddling around with a joystick, just sweeping it around, and in, in, in the process I'm, I'm sweeping around the cutoffs of those two bandpass filters. And you can hear how the timbre is changing significantly of the, of the sequence that I'm running through it. And you can do things like, I can bring up the on these bandpass filters and now when I sweep those cutoffs around you can hear the resonance peaks moving around as well with the frequency and again I'm I'm just playing around with the, the joystick I could be doing this manually here just using the cutoff knobs as well. So you can really thin out parts of the sound or thicken them up.
basically using the QMF4 as a sort of a EQ filter bank. Um, now the, the QMF4 also has this notch filter output and it's not exactly the same. It has a, it has a different effect, um, but uh, it's also useful for this sort of, of shaping. And uh, again, I'm just messing a bit with the, uh, with the joystick. But in theory, what's going on, because we're using this uh, notch output, is some of these filters are actually uh, creating holes in the, the spectrum of my signal, which I'm moving around uh, using the joystick.